there I am Nur Siha binti Muhammad Fadli and welcome back to our another episode of Environmental Economic Issue Today where we talk about water pollution Malaysia has one of the highest rate of tap water access in the world Malaysia extracts 18.375 billion liters of raw water per day for a trade water supply alone According to 2017 data, however, water security remains a major issue in Malaysia the purpose of this paper was to highlight major water issue. Secondary data is scattered in relation of water issues scope matter. Some of nature related water issues include rivers pollution, drinking water safety, and water dispersion. These issues are interwide. Pollution rivers disrupt the flow of water and lower the quality of drinking water. We don't attempt the current water crisis from our failure to recognize water as a scared community as well as from mismanagement of a finite resource that we have taken for granted. The problem that has arisen is not an easy one to solve. All of these issues cause significant inconvenience to the general public. Water pollution in Malaysia include a lack of clean water, water pollution, urban flood disaster and environmental degradation around rivers or catchment areas. In recent disasters, measure rapid development through economic growth and land development has a significant impact on the environment, contributing to the destruction of water quality in urban rivers, basins such as the Klang Valley and the Langat Valley. The river pollution level is a major source of concern because it is a critical source of water supply for economic development and domestic consumption. According to a reporter, the downward trend from year to year has made the problem of water pollution more dangerous. Furthermore, in nearly 1998, the Klang and Langat Valley experienced a severe shortage of clean water, only primarily to logging and upland indirect for housing, diesel pollution from queries near water treatment plant in the upper district and others pollution from more than 100 factories along the rivers. This problem is extirpated by prolonged drought, El Nino phenomena, increased non-review water loss and lack of resources management. Penang for extension has been plagued by several water pollution on both the island and the mainland. Heavy metal acid to pollute the sea in Teluk Bahang, while the water at the mouth of the Sungai Tengah River in Nibong Tebal is plagued. Fishermen problem they claim have plagued them for about 10 years. In Selangor, recent pollution in Sungai Semenye and Sungai Selangor caused supply disruption to hundreds of thousands of households for several days, causing significant difficulties. All types of economic activities are impacted as well. To some extent, this is understand if this is the first extension of reverse pollution. This phenomena, however, occur almost every year. According to the DOE, many illegal factories operate along the banks of the Semenya rivers. Finally, the general public and business have regards trains, rivers, and stream as convenient curbed dam. Hi and Assalamualaikum. I'm Mohamed Ham and today I would like to discuss the effect of water pollution. Can you imagine the effect of water pollution? Same goes to the issue of repopulation that affected on aquatic ecosystem, human being, and environments. Aquatic ecosystem affected because of large number of toxic materials are released into lake, uh, river, and coastal water in the oceans. These affections causes many aquatic species, especially the most sensitive species, will affected and die. The effect of water pollution brings many problems on human beings. Firstly, human health affected due to disease carrying agents such as bacteria and virus, and also polluted drinking water. The area typhoid and colon cancer are the example of the disease. Then dehydration and skin disease like skin cancer also appear. For effect on environments, we can go through how alga gloom and excessive weight stimulate the overgrowth of on aquatic plant that made 
water to have a dark taste and sometimes color. Another impact uh, ecological balance of a body of water is altered. Acid rain and ongoing decrease in the pH of the Earth ocean. Therefore, to overcome the issue of water pollution in river, we must have a solution how to control and prevention. Firstly, dispose of toxic chemicals properly, don't dumping chemical waste into a river. Just bring toxic waste from your home to a recycling waste center to be recycled. Second, practice of three R's, which are reuse, recycle, and reduce. Community should practice three R's principles in daily life, where it is us to avoid waste dumping into river and save and learn to how to save the environment. Next, educate the community about the water conservations and water pollution through social media campaigns and advertisements. The aim of these platforms is to increase awareness on the importance of fresh water resources and their sustainable management. Lastly, enhance the enforcement of law and regulations. Water quality law need to be strengthened and implemented seriously. The authorities must constantly monitor factory activities along the river and ensure the factory operator are complying with the rules. Then five mandatory should be implemented and imprisonment must be extended. By this way, it can give awareness and lesson to polluter and also public. In this case, the EMA voice can be applied as innovative approach or solutions to overcome the issue of river pollution. The EMA voice is a mixture of clay, bokashi, and EM, which is effective microorganism, which is mixed together and then allowed to ferment before being dry. It enriches with EM, which is consists of mixtures of beneficial natural occurring microorganisms such as yeast, lactic acid, cultures, and photosynthesis bacteria. Do you know what the Elmabos can do? The Elmabos can be applied to river, water catchment pond, drain, toilet, and canvas fish cage. It is just throw that Elmabos into water. Then the Elmabos will slowly break down and allow the EM to escape into the water. This is because the EM has helped in the process of cleaning. This shows its benefit is it can purify problematic water as it can break down all forms of contaminations in the water. It is also reduce bad smell, stabilize the alkalinity pH of water, and break up organic molecules and garbage waste. It can be concluded that EM holds a dominance for positions in the microorganism layers and help ecosystem to revive and reduce slug and fur order. Now let's look at this poster about how to make mud balls. This mud ball can be applied easily and make ourselves with three main ingredients which are soy or uh, we use clay soy, rice bran or EM bokashi and activated microorganism. In general the procedure just including mix the substance, mounting, watering for moisturize, then fermentation and drying. This show community can be made, can make homemade marbles themselves at home with several facilities. Now I'm going to talk about market approach. Market approach is an approach to control the environment negative uncertainty that refer to incentive-based policy that encourage conservation practice or strategy in reducing the pollution. Generally, there are three types of strategy under this market approach. One of the strategy is pollution permit transit system. What is pollution permit transit system? is a system that gives the right to firm to produce the pollution according to the number of permit it holds. However, not all the firm can use the permit fully. Let's say if the firm produces the pollution beyond the permit it has, the firm either have to reduce the pollution or buy the permit from others. 
for example when the when the firm produces 125 units of emission which causes the water to become polluted and the permit given by the government is 100 units the firm have two choices here either to reduce the emission from 125 units to 100 units or the firm can buy 25 permit from another firm the best option between these two choices is to select the best method which is the most cheaper but if the firm produces the less pollution the firm can sell the surplus permit to other firm and gain profit from it we can see that some firm can control the pollution we easily at lower cost while others quite difficult and highly cost to them we can see that this advantage of this permit this permit pollution trading system is flexible where the firm can freely to reduce the pollution at the their, at their own way at the lower cost compared to common and control regulation approach the conclusion clean water is resources is very important for our daily life and environment surrounding especially the marine life ecosystem which is slowly become extinction this situation happened because the river has become polluted through naturally but mostly are come from the human activity many firms do not really concern with the negative externality they causes and mostly the firm only want to focus on the profit matter while others do not want to take the responsibility because the cost to firm to deal with the negative externality is quite high and burden and burden to them to bear the cost anyway some action must be taken because it might be affected in our economy in the future for example our country may be insufficient clean water so our country need to buy the water from outside just like singapore singapore country this lead to our country expenditures and expenditure increase and become a loss to our country therefore we should love and take care of our river as important as it starting from now because it's not only for our own benefit but also for the future generation use i think that's all from my group for today's presentation thank you